so youtube family this takes turns after turns again if you don't know what's going on man when the arrest happened with sean get right a lot of things kind of went left but we didn't give you it in depth as far as the news on what's going on with this guy this guy turns out to be far worse than the backdoor queen of jacksonville which is known by alicia andrews this dude i'll be sure night and day has done so many twists and turns and he's not the only one but we will be focusing on him now before we get started i need you to smash that like button hit that notification bell and thank you for rocking out with the best vibes you can rock with with the i smoke hip-hop live movement going on over here let go let's get back to regularly scheduled programming so we looked at sean we see a situation and, and they brought this up about him so investigators said there is evidence that links one of the people accused of killing charles jones also known as jacksonville rapper julio fulio now we've done a news on this already i'll get back to reading it for y'all but we did a news about this already the only reason i'm showing you this news again after two days ago is because now the news is printing this out so you know this is going to be actual things used in court used during the trial and getting a conviction of the three stooges or in this case the five stooges let me digress and carry on with the news now they're saying that i'll be sure was one of the people who was in charge and involved in a previous attempt to kill julio fulio last year now we know fulio was ambushed and killed in the tampa hotel parking lot june in june that man whoever wrote this they don't go into detail they write like they're still in elementary so it's not me y'all but let's keep reading it we know fulio and friends was celebrating his birthday weekend because he did not die on his birthday he was born on june 21st and died on june 23rd now let's continue with it so police have arrested i'll be sure garrett isaiah prince which i mean chance that is which is gutta zay his girlfriend Alicia Andrews and Richard Murphy and accused them in connections with the murder. Police are still looking for Murphy's cousin, Davion Murphy, which I got breaking news on that for a little bit later today. Now let's continue reading more. So documents basically were filed to the Hillsborough County Court asking for those who have been arrested to be held in jail until trial and offer no bond to them well I told you no bond was going to be granted already ladies and gentlemen this is Florida let me say it properly for you guys welcome to florida ladies and gentlemen we do it different down here in the boot now let's keep going now in the documents investigators said they found one of the accused gunmen with shell casings related to an attempt to shoot and kill jones last october when get right 18 was arrested during a traffic stop in jacksonville parking lot investigators said officers found a glock nine millimeter pistol a rifle and a nine spent rifle casing now what's going on with that is the fact that they know the main player that they need is i'll be sure and what's even worse if you a street dude did i'll be sure notify to any of the culprits you know richard davion alicia or gutta zay that hey bro they arrested me two days after folio and let me go that's right ladies and gentlemen they arrested sean and they let him go after the situation so after you let this man go what deal was made to let him go after you found that much arsenals of weapon in the back seat of his vehicle ladies and gentlemen i feel a deal was made but a, a bond had to be granted but even though a bond was granted i'm pretty sure someone had to also bond it out sean garrett and they looked into that as well so this was too much domino effects to help them out if you will ask me besides the fact if sean folded or not i mean he did fold it let, let's be honest but that particular day when they arrested him i know that they let him go for the bait and switch or whatever just to catch more individuals involved now let's keep reading more about this situation 
So detectives said those spent casings match two different shootings before Jones' death. So this dude is an urban terrorist, like I told you what TK Waters said about them. And being in other two shootings prior to this one guarantees the Rico is coming now. A separate homicide in May and a shooting last October and what investigators said was an attempt to kill Jones. Investigators also said while searching Gat Wright's car, I think it's Garrett, but I like saying Gat Wright's cause it says it right there. But anyways, house after Jones was shot and killed. So they found a lot of things in his house, bro. You hear me? They searched his house. Detectives found several rifles in a gun safe and at least one that had a brass catcher oh my gosh investigators said that the brass catcher was the same one that was used in the shooting of jones so castings would not be left at the scene my goodness bro so what this is saying though we also have proof that this dude used the same weapons and also the murder of Fulio, not just the one they tried to shoot the foot off. So we get in more full details. They went to this knee grump's house. It wasn't just his vehicle when he got arrested. They went to this man's house. So if you have a warrant to go into his house, because we know at this point, at this case, any warrant will be signed off. Any warrant would be agreed upon with the magistrate because these dudes are classified and labeled as urban terrorists. So definitely the Patriot Act is being involved. So many things are being involved to say, look, y'all, these dudes that y'all see right here are not good people. Not only are they not good people, they are putting the community in fear. So now you got two murders and a potential other uh, 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 alleged attempted murder on Fulio the, the second time. Y'all remember that one with the foot. So this dude, Sean, is facing five different counts of life in prison. Five, ladies and gentlemen. So you're facing five different counts. No matter what information Sean gives, it will be lucky if he even gets 50 years only. You hear me? So the only way Sean could get 20 or 30 years, he's going to have to give the people who are giving them the bag, ladies and gentlemen. You know what type of bag. Don't play dumb with me. The bag to put a tap out. The bag that ends everything of all, ma mainly the head honcho. And that's alluding to ATK. We know TK Waters attached ATK with this and said, 1200 block was working with atk members we have several atk members who are involved these are the words of the sheriff in charge when you see this like this they're going to look for the money people and what they're going to do in the interrogation room if they didn't do it already is flash so many different evidence from different murders and tell sean richard alicia and isaiah who else because if you guys think it's five people involved, you forgot during the press conference when Chief Bearcaw said, and not only the five suspects and the rest were after, who are the rest? Well, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned and find out because I'm updating and I'm giving you guys everything. And baby, <laughs> game over ain't happened yet. Trust me, it is not game over yet. Man, love your family, love your kids, and yes, indeed, stay blessed.